My name is Jake Leguie and I farm near Fillmore, Saskatchewan with my family. We farm about 12,000 acres and we've been here since the 1950s and involved in the community as much as possible. I do work volunteer ambulance and I also work in the volunteer fire department. There's my wife and I, there's my older sister Sarah and mom and dad. I started farming in uh, 2006. I was still in high school then. My first field was actually that one just right over there and farming a little more every year I guess since then. A lot of the reason that consumers are so interested in where their food comes from today is parents want to know that they're feeding their children food that, that is healthy and nutritious and, and safe. And I think we need to get past the stigma of GMOs being something different because all of our crops have been modified in certain ways. I grow GMOs because they allow us to do something that a lot of people thought was impossible. They allow us to feed a world containing 7 billion people. Without genetic modification, we wouldn't be able to do it. They allow us to reduce inputs and they allow us to grow higher yields on the same amount of land or on less land. I do believe this food is safe and, and I think it's easy to prove that just by saying, I eat it myself. There's actually been a trillion meal study completed recently that looked at the effects of 20 years of GMOs being on the market and not one negative health effect was found. Biotechnology and pesticides have to fit together. Either one product works well on its own, but if you put them together, you can really begin to accomplish some pretty incredible things. Genetic modification is going to allow us to do things that before were impossible. And it excites me to think about the potential to help against a variety of stresses, not just herbicides, to reduce malnutrition, to grow better crops that have more nutrition built into them. There's no company out there that forces me to grow these crops. It's my choice. I grow canola and soybeans because they're the best fit for my farm, and I grow herbicide-tolerant canola and soybeans because they're the best option out there. We want to make sure that we're doing things right. We want to make sure that the land that we're farming is still able to be farmed in the future, and that means looking after it. We are in the operation that does feed the world, and it does kind of ground you a little bit and make you realize that what you're doing is, is important.